from Cincinnati, we have student athletes Jacob Evans and Troy Copain and head coach uh, Mick Cronin. Mick, you had a three-point lead at the turn, and then uh, some stuff happened, shall we say. What's your overall assessment of how this game went? Well, first of all, congratulations to Steve and his team. Uh, they obviously have had an unbelievable season. Uh, and that's why I told him they got a chance to win the whole thing. I wished him luck. Uh, he's got a very tough job um, coaching that team uh, with the expectations uh, at his school. Uh, and I told him I'm rooting for him. Uh, that being said, uh, I think a uh, turning point in the game was when we uh, started going inside in the second half and we weren't able to get, uh, get to the foul line. Uh, repeatedly, we went inside and um, we came away empty. We, we also uh, weren't able to get the call. And uh, I said for the last two days, we're going to have to score the ball uh, or get to the free throw line so we could set our defense. And when that didn't happen, they got out in transition. And as everybody knows, they ever, they're probably the best offensive team to play college basketball in a long, long time. Uh, team averages 90 points a game and shoots 50% from the field. Uh, so that was the key. Once, we're, once we struggled to, uh, to get to the foul line or uh, get the ball in the basket and knock down some shots, and they got out in transition, that's what they do. Uh, a couple times where I thought we panicked a little bit and tried to match them. Um, but uh, give them all the credit. They got a great team. And uh, fatigue, I think, maybe got us a little bit too. Once, we, uh, once they got on a roll a little bit, they were, they were running downhill. I thought fatigue got us. It affected, our, it affected our defense. We have some guys that are really solid defenders that don't make mistakes on the defensive end. Uh, and when that happens, as a coach, experience tells you that fatigue is the reason. Uh, so, you know, they, they have NBA type, NBA players and, and some elite athletes, which probably caused, a, caused that. But uh, proud of my team. I told them that uh, there's no shame in, uh, in losing to UCLA in California, a team with two, uh, maybe the top pick in the draft. And, at least two other lock NBA players, and then Leaf being a lottery pick as well. And I'm proud of them. They had an unbelievable season. Questions? Sir. Troy and Jacob, could you uh, talk a little bit about what, what Coach was saying, how the game went, how you guys just controlled the pace in the first half, and then what, how did you guys see it in the second half? What happened out there? Coach just said it. Um, we didn't get to the foul line, and we didn't score the ball and match them. And then got out of transition, and that's you seen them make a couple shots. They got on a little run, and the game went how it went. Yeah, I have to agree with that. Like they got out in transition, we couldn't get some shots to fall, and then on the other end they were making some shots. And we couldn't get to the free throw line in the second half. <clears throat> and that's just how it went. One more. Uh, Coach, could you quickly evaluate the season? I, I, I already did. You, wild, wild success. Yeah. Wild success. Second most wins in the history of the school. Three seniors that are unbelievably good kids that have been to four NCAA tournaments uh, that are all uh, – going to walk in uh, late April with, in our graduation. Um, selfless effort all year by our team. Not only did they win, they won the right way. And we're really proud of the way we win at Cincinnati. Graduating players, selfless, doing it the right way uh, with integrity and character. So it was, it's, what it, it, it's, it's what intercollegiate athletics and amateur athletics is all about. So. Um, and to do it at the level that these guys have done it was just was awesome. Obviously, we're just as disappointed in today's loss. 
but our season was a wild success. You know, to lose, like I said, to lose to this team with this, the, the talent they have in California uh, and give them the game that we gave them, there's absolutely no shame in that. We're not happy. You know, you see how disappointed these guys are. That's why I'm so proud. They expect to win every game. Uh, and you see that they believed that they were going to win today. So uh, that shows you what our program's all about and, and what these guys are all about. But they expect to win because of how hard they work, which I believe will translate for them in life and whatever they do. And they're always going to be successful. So uh, sure, we'd love to have kept playing. Troy, could you say a few words? I know you're thinking about the game right now, but you, you had a great, great career. Could you just make a few comments about about that? First, I want to thank my coach and Coach Davis and the coaching staff for giving me the opportunity to come to Cincinnati. Um, I'm blessed that I school went well and that we had the great career that I had as a senior going to four NCAA tournaments. Um, you know, getting through school and being able to graduate at the end of April. Uh, I'm thankful, you know, for my family to have the opportunity to have see their son play on the college level and then my teammates. Uh, I love them to death. They always going to go down as my book. is my fav favorite group of brothers to ever play with. Uh, I'm going to keep this group chat that we got alive, you know, forever. It's going to go down. And uh, I wish the best success for the team. I'll probably talk to them later this week to keep the, keep the Cincinnati name alive, keep everything that we did this year and, and move forward and stay positive. Thank you, folks.